ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Kwan, and today I am here to talk to you about what I would do if I were Prime Minister. Before I tell you what I would do, it is best to tell you a little about who I am and why I would make such an outstanding Prime Minister. I can assure you that I will be a superior leader to Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, David Cameron and Theresa May. I am honest, respectful, trustworthy and hard-working and I will make Northern Ireland and Great Britain great once more. When I am Prime Minister, my first two priorities will be the environment and education. The first thing that I would do is try and save the environment. I have researched the ice caps melting, the potential extinction of certain animals, an increase in the frequency of extreme weather events, and the quickly diminishing supplies of non-renewable fuel sources. In order to combat these crises, I would invest in renewable, clean energies such as solar and wind power. I would also invest in the education and training of scientists and engineers to increase the number of people in our country with good knowledge of technology. This is so we can develop new clean energy sources and new environmentally friendly technologies and become a world leader in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. This is why my second priority is to improve the education system of our country. As a student in this country, I am concerned about the way the national curriculum is becoming increasingly demanding on both students and teachers. There is less and less time for teachers to recognise the special talents and special needs of their individual students. Children have no time to pursue the interests they enjoy, such as karate and street dance. Because of this, the national curriculum needs to be made more flexible. I will invest more to build schools which foster this flexible approach to learning so the children can have the brightest possible future. And I would work further to unite this kingdom. We are not the Scottish kingdom, the English kingdom, the Welsh kingdom, the Labour kingdom or the Conservative kingdom. We are the United Kingdom. It is a place for everyone, even for a skinny boy with a funny name. Lastly, I would like to say something very simple. I would like to say thank you. Thank you to each of you for your time and support. Thank you to my school for choosing me for this honour. Thank you to my friends for helping me be more confident. And thank you to my family for their help with my speech. And remember, as John F. Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Saria Azam and today I'll be talking to you about what I would do to make Great Britain a better place if I were Prime Minister. First of all, let's start with what is a Prime Minister and what makes a good Prime Minister? A Prime Minister is a person who leads the country, shows them the way and is responsible for what the country does and what the country holds. A good Prime Minister is determined determined, trustworthy, confident, respectful and organised, don't find fault, find remedy. Why would I make a good Prime Minister? Do I have the qualities, do I have the belief and do I have the morals? I strongly believe that a good Prime Minister should always be positive and have discipline. I can make a good Prime Minister because I am determined. In the way I will never give up until I am your Prime Minister. Trustworthy, just like George Washington, I never tell a lie. Confident, in the way I am giving a speech in front of you all right now. Respect Respectful, I treat everyone fairly, even if they disagree with me. And organised, I never let people down, you can count on me to get things done. What would I do if I were Prime Minister? If I were Prime Minister, I would try to stop racism and sexism. 
by teaching children about other races and people to remove ignorance and foster understanding. I would do this because racism and sexism are insidious evils which we must banish from our hearts so that they can become things of the past. I would continue to improve fairness between men and women so that they all have the same right to dream, to believe and to achieve. I will sort out the British NHS so their illnesses can be dealt with in seconds, not years. To accomplish this, I would give the NHS more money so that they can afford to buy the best medical supplies and employ the best medical professionals. I will ensure all children go to excellent schools because you never know, they might be the next Steve Jobs, they might be the next Theresa May or they might be the next Usain Bolt and they need a top quality education to achieve their fullest potential. Always remember the difference between a boss and a leader. A boss says go and a leader says let's go. Thank you for listening.